What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So, a couple of things happened that I didn't get recorded, but yesterday a couple, a lot of people were commenting on my video to say basically that there's been a complete market crash and that the cards for needed for Yanis have gotten way cheaper. And I didn't, re I didn't believe it was a real thing, but trust me, it was. So. Basically, I had around 300 and something KMT, and I didn't even sell that many players. So, sold pretty much all of my Devin Harris cards, and that was really all I needed to get these cards. So, in terms of price-wise, no, do not lock in. Do not lock in. So, yeah, like for, imagine locking this in for 75 tokens. But, I got Gary Payton for 105 KMT. I got Worthy for, I think he was... 110k i think it was for oscar robertson he was like 42k jamal wilkes was like 13k west i actually got jerry west for seven and a half kmt don't know how gail goodrich was actually kind of expensive he was like 14k and the rest of the cards were so cheap the rest of the cards I already had so like i managed to get these guys for so so cheap so much cheaper than they should have been and yeah include after even buying the max cousins like we didn't even need to sell any of our expensive players it was just the market had crashed so much. So we are going to obviously go to the locker codes. And we are going to be doing... Actually, I want to see who I want to get first. So um, look at my squad. I've got... I know I'm kind of sort at the point guard position. I think I'm going to use this lineup right here. I'm sort at the point guard. Obviously, Dion Wade is going in there. Um... I'm happy with it. Uh, small forward would get rid of him, probably. For now, anyway, let's just play James Worthy there. Um, and obviously replace him with him. And does Jamal... Yeah, Jamal Wilkes probably does make the team instead of Norman Powell. I think he's just a better version of Norman Powell. So, this is the team we're running with right now. Um, obviously, we're getting rid of Peyton. I wouldn't mind a Stockton or I wouldn't mind Wilt. Or, like, uh, Zion will be fine. Like, I'm not going to complain um, if I get Zion Williamson. So, the locker code is... It is Happy Holidays Litmus. I still cannot believe they put the word Litmus in a... Uh, in a, in a non-iron... They said... They used the word Litmus non-ironically. Like, come on, 2K. You made me type in Litmus twice today. You made me type it in a third time, probably tomorrow. Wait, what? You're kidding me. It can only be done once per console. It can only be done once per console. So you know what? Um, I'm just going to see what price these cards are going for now. So let's go pink diamond center. Let's just go, actually... Theme, um, Prime. Okay, are they Prime VIPs then? No, Prime Series One. Five hundred. T Max going to be even more expensive now. These how cheap all the others are. I'll see what the cheapest one of these is. And I cannot believe that you can only open one per console. How did? That is shocking. That is absolutely shocking. I just want to have a, just a look to see what price these cards are. No, so they're a little bit expensive. So let's just see what David Thompson's going for. Let's just have a look to see what it's done to the auction house. So David Thompson, who was initially like 80k or so. And it has been about two and a half hours so yeah you can just see 123 like literally one every single minute so see what his buy it is like i'm not gonna buy him um surely 17k is is a uh, cheap enough price i cannot believe i cannot believe it like since when can you only open one per console since when and i got zion on another account because i thought you could open them that was such a dumb decision. That was so dumb. Um, 
And we can't even afford any of these, can we? Oh, we can't. No, we can't. So, we cannot even afford a David Thompson. Let's just, actually, let's see what price these cards are going for. Because once I, can, once I get Yanis, I should be okay. John Stockton. Um, guessing he can't be any more than like 35k. That's annoying. Oh, I'm so dumb. I am so, so dumb with the fact that I did that. Who's... Okay. I'm like, who's still spending 70k on a John Stockton card? Especially when there's this many of them. I would have thought he'd be like 15, 20k. But... No, apparently not. 60, 70k is what you're getting stocking for. So, yeah, that is not ideal. So, anyway, yeah, that is a little bit of a pity. Um, Christmas Day, we have managed to get nothing. So, I'm so, so dumb. That's the only way I can describe this. That was a bad, bad decision. So, anyway, we're going to go with the Nomini Spend Squad. We're going to use James Worthy, Gary Payton, Jamal Wilkes, Jaron Jackson Jr., Demarcus Cousins. And I'm going to clickbait the title about something about the locker code. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, there is a free pink diamond locker code available. I just couldn't open it. <laughs> um, but to be fair, it has ruined the market. Like, it has completely ruined the market, that free pink diamond locker code. Like, there's a lot of cards that were 50, 60k that are now like 20k, so... Uh, pink time lock code is definitely, definitely ruined the market. Okay, so we are playing against a really, really nice squad here. Definitely a squad that can compete with ours. So, should be a fun game. Should be a fun game. Okay, so, and so hopefully his bench is weak. Okay, and his bench is it's probably better than mine, so... He's actually got Jamal Wilkes on his bench, Blake Griffin, Kevin Knox. So we're fairly even bench-wise, but he definitely is a better starting lineup. However, I think Jared Jackson might be able to do a little bit of a job on him, so could be okay. Uh, drop back. In the way. Good stand there by Jamal Wilkes. Let's push it. For freelance. I have no idea what Gary Payton's release is like. I've never used it before. I just have him in because he's got clamps. Bang, bang from... Demarcus Cousins in and out. All right, should be all right. Clamp him, clamp him, clamp him. We've got gold clamps on him, and we've got Hall of Fame on a lot of our players. Should be, should have been a steal, and he panic shot it. Let's go. Hit Jaron Jackson to Gary Payton. They can pop right here. Connect. Hit a not very wide open Demarcus Cousins. That is a tough shot right there, and we hit in, hit the hook shot over as. Over Yanis. Well, let's speak. Let's speak. And drop back. Okay. Good dunk there by his Ryan Davis. We unfortunately don't have a single range center play in our starting lineup. So this is definitely not a, a comp built lineup anyway. Good shot there by Jackson in the corner for three. And we have the lead. But this is not a lineup built to compete in comp a comp level. Although, our whole team, except for Buggy, does have clamps. Which helps. But, ah, it's, come on, we were right there. Jackson was right there. Lead is one right now. Let's see if we can connect off this. Okay, no, 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 I pressed weird. I completely pressed the wrong button. I accidentally hit or one. So I just taken the wide open jumper. Okay, way back. That's a, okay, I was about to say, surely he isn't making that lob. Drive in. Kick to the corner for two, and that's a green there by Jaron Jackson Jr. Let's go. I'm starting to like him playing the power forward position a lot more than I like him playing a center. Because again, he can guard perimeter players quite well. He's got length, and he also has got gold clamps. You know, lateral quickness isn't the best. Can I can live? If he hits another one, maybe I change up, but I can live with that shot for now. He has to show me beyond doubt that he can shoot that shot for me to uh, start guarding Giannis on the three-point line. Good job there by Jaron Jackson, John the Fell. 
He, as of right now, has got every single point for my team. There you go. Clamp him, clamp him, clamp him. Bad shot. Our board, good board, Debbie Jackson. Let's go. They leave him wide open for three, and we knock it down with James Worthy. Okay, he's now got three points, and finally someone not named Jaron Jackson scored for us. And Jaron Jackson goes and gets a steal. They steal it right back, but we hit Jackson, who gets to Jamal Wilkes, to the basket. Jamal Wilkes with the dunk. So he's only been in there for defense so far, but he can obviously uh, play offense quite well as well. Go to the basket, goes to the basket really well. Stripped by DeMarcus Cousins. And post up. The clear path is it. That's a good foul then. I literally just want this ISO in here. Come on, keep holding him off. I was holding L2. It's fine. Strip, 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 strip. That's all right defense. I did all I could there. He just finished better with the better Giannis. And you're not in a position to guard this. Right to him. Straight line to the basket. Into DeMarcus Cousins. How's that not foul? He literally reached across me there. It's fine. Get him early. Okay, it's a good pass. That was a really good pass right there. And we no longer have the massive advantage. Uh, let's attack off this one. Hit the shooter. Okay, release. Worthy can't hit it. This game, we should be so far ahead, but we're not. Control up. Dead advance. Let's go. Oh, where are you spotting up? Like, thankfully, we made that. But what was Jaron Jackson doing? Spotting up at the halfway line. It's all good, though. We've had a good first quarter here against a very, very good team that this guy's been running with. Okay, so we got the big time advantage here in terms of bench, I think. Green there by Blake Griffin. Actually, Jamal Marie's good. Um, Wilkes and Clyde's probably even. I'm guessing it's an Odom on Odom matchup, is it? Yeah, Odom on Odom. So we've got a little bit of advantage. We've got the point guy advantage. Other than that, I think it's even. It's a terrible shot. Our board. Okay, attack. Snatch back. A little bit contested, but it's in from... Um, what's his name? It is in from our Odom. 10 point lead. We're clamping him up here on defense. It's a terrible shot. Okay. Did that hit the rim and still airball? I have no idea what happened there. Okay, let's use it. And give it back to the shooter. Almost got the switch he wanted. They leave Lamar Odom wide open. Shoot the ball! Oh my god, what the hell happened there? He wouldn't shoot it. Clyde, you should have a step on him. Toss it up to Lamar Odom. Against the dunk. There we go, 12 point lead. We are completely locking this guy down here. It's all going for an defense, get, get onto that. And we are right back in position. They blow the layup, let's push. Okay, he has to fell. Let's go. He cannot this guy cannot get a score right here. He hasn't switched anything, so let's just go pick and roll here. There we go, right to the basket. Uh, Baron Davis the dunk. We're not in position. Let's wait. We're good. That's a bad shot. He hasn't been able to get anything, so he's just resorted to taking bad shots here. Oh, it's not a shot. Dribble it out. Don't pick up the dribble there. Oh my god, how'd you get forced into that? That's a bit ridiculous. How did we get the ball? Not complaining. Bang, bang. It's a good shot, and that's in from Lamar, Lamar Odom. So he leads out to 17. That is open. That's no defense there at all. That's the bad miss by me. I'm gonna keep shooting that shot, he keeps giving it to me. And we can't let Giannis get a, get a fast break on us. He's going to score after every time. We need to connect and try force a switch. Or just take the layup. If he doesn't want to switch, we've got a wide... We're literally wide open. We're in the basket every time. You can play Tyler Debo 2K19 rim run style. If he wants to play players like that. I don't know why, what way we switched right there. But evidently didn't work. We're still comfortable though. So... Like, once this game gets maybe... This, if he does bring it back to, like, 7, then I'm like, okay. Then I can worry, but now it's comfortable. Connect. 
There we go. No defense there at all. Easy dunk there by Baron Davis. Um, who's going? Late, give him space. That's fine. 81% contested. I can live with that shot. And toss it up to nobody. But Blake's right there. Wide open Lamar Odom. Knocks it down. Let's go 18 point or 19 point lead right here. Um it's a tough shot, bad release. Alright, so 19 point halftime lead. Be a bit of a disaster if we lost this game from here, but we should be okay. Okay, let's attack. Kick to Blake for two. Knocks it down. There you go. We are well and truly hammering this guy now. Good job by Blake. That's fine. I live with that. Don't let him feel like he can ever get an easy shot. I'm fine with the foul. Bang, bang. Tough shot. And Peyton can do it. I, that's a dumb shot to shoot. I'm actually going to put in waiters. Oh, that's fine again. Again. If this, as long as this guy doesn't feel like he can ever get to the basket with ease on me, I'm fine. That is open. And that is off by buggy. Come on. Got to hit that shot there. Um, try getting lanes. Not matching up properly here. There we go. We're back. And that is off. And they grab the board. It's fine. Give them space. We're right there. Great job there by... Um, what's it? James Worthy. Shooter in the corner for three. Green. Big shot there by Jamal Wilkes. Long two, though, unfortunately. Jamal Wilkes is money, but again, can't shoot from deep. He's got five seconds to shoot the ball. I don't really know where we have if we have any matchups where we can just get a guaranteed good luck in five seconds. Tough shot there. Um, try to get in the way. It's fine. Clamp, clamp early. Good job there by Wilkes. Um, cover him this side and get back out. Ah, oh, that has to be our steal. Good defense there, lads. Defense. Oh, we're right there again. And he half bars it. Oh my god. That is as good a defensive possession as you could possibly have. And he goes and half bars that. Probably too deep. But no, it's not. Green life from Dion Waiters. Joy is a range extender. That was a massive shot right there. That's given us the momentum right back. Or at least halted his momentum. Uh, we got to help pinch in with players. Yeah, we're doing a good job recovering there. Great job in the recovery. Great job there. That is unbelievable defense. That's a bad pass. Maybe not. And that's green there from Jamal Wilkes. Another two-point shot for him. Makes this an 18-point game again. Oh, it's not meant to be a shot. We've, we're basket side. Kicked it a wide open shooter for three. And we can't hit it there worthy either. It's fine. Go to pass, go to pass. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to stop him with Wilkes there. That's a good shot. And that's good. Okay, this is back to 12. We could lose this game from here. That's about all I'm saying is we could lose this game from here. Because I feel like I've had a decent third quarter. And I still... I'm still losing the third quarter, and I still lost it. Would have lost it comfortably if I haven't been shooting the ball as well as I have been waiters. That's ridiculous, by Giannis right there. I cannot wait till I get that card. By by New Year's Day, I'll get that card. Don't worry. Tough shot, and it's good board. Big shot here by Jaron Jackson, who can't hit it. Wilkes getting the way. Good job stopping him with Jamal Wilkes. We're doing a good job matching up here. Jump with that. Good hand, good hand, good hand. Tip him with uh, Yao Ming to make an 11 point game. Okay, so one player right here. This could be a game changer. Especially because he got me baited. And we ran into the backcourt. Oh, I could. There was nothing I could do to prevent that. Nothing I could do to prevent that. I tried to bring Waiters forward and he just kept running backwards. Good deep, great defense, great bait by him. Gatorade symbol, Yanis, not a good release. Can't hit it, thank God. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, All right, so we're 11 points up at the end of the third. I think we start with the ball. It'll be big, it'll be a big one if we do start with the ball, but the second quarter where we won 20 to four, if we can have a somewhat similar fourth quarter, we'll be, we'll be fine. 
I don't need to worry. Um, I just want to see what they're kind of doing with Yao, whether I need to get in Rick Smiths or whether I need to go with Amare. That's the question. They start with the ball, though. Um, I don't. Tyler Hero does not so, uh, suit this game, so I won't probably won't be getting him in here. Good defense. Hell, oh, come on. It's poor. Poor pass. Stripped. Oh, man. We're getting well and truly baited right here. We were so good. I was so good in that second quarter. Jump. We're there. Good defense. The wide open shooter. Oh, catch the ball. Stay what? He couldn't catch the ball. He fell four feet out of bounds. Oh, man. That would have been... Like, if we can get a stop and a score at any stage in this quarter, we're in unbelievable shape. That's the thing. And we missed out on that steal as well. Like, if we can get this to an 11-point game at any stage, thankfully he's gone into the press. Connect and go right to the basket. Jam it. Oh, good job there by Clyde. Probably wasn't a good idea to try jamming on Yao like that, but worked out, I guess. I think I might go with Smiths at a... No, I'm going to go with Amari at center. Good defense, Rick Smiths, forcing the miss. Let's push. Hit Clyde. Straight to the basket. To Rick. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That is not open, is it? Big shot right there. That is a massive three-point shot there by Byron Davis. Bring the lead back at the 12. His stamina situation isn't good either. It's fine. Let him take me on one-on-one. -on -one. It's too deep, is it? Yeah, I think so. Wide open. That is good by Blake Griffin. Okay, we're hitting a couple of, uh, couple of shots that probably shouldn't go in. To be fair, he hit a couple of them in the last quarter, so... Everything kind of went against us in that third. We need a little bit of luck in this fourth. And he blows the layup. Wide open. Green. That should be game. That's made this a 17-point game again. He had it back to seven. A massive, massive 10-hour run right there. To pretty much end this game. Unless we be a big choke here if we lost this. Wide open. Baron Davis for three. Green. There we go. Good shot. Lead now up to 18. Clamp him. Let's clamp him. Get under that. You know who his threats are. Good job, rotations, lads. We're not out of position where you anybody. Drop down. Okay, good defense there by Mari. Let's push it. Yeah, on the ground. Wide open, Blake Griffin. Can't hit it. And Lamar Adams right there at the board. Okay. Oh, good bait right there. Too little, too late, though. It's too little, too late. Okay, I can see he's in the half-court trap or something. Like, wide open. Yeah, I can see that pass coming a mile away. Now that I know he's going to be trapping me, I think I'm going to be okay. Getting in the way. Probably wasn't good there, but good job of not letting him get an easy dunk. And not letting him get the M1 either. That's an easy layup there from Peyton. Good job from him. His uh, first basket of the game. And we managed to get a 13-point lead here. And that is probably it for the game. So in the end, Baron Davis had 17 points. 7 waving the field. Lamar Odom had 10. Jaron Jackson had 9. Blake Griffin had 8. Wade is at 8. Wilkes had 6. Jamal Wilkes didn't miss. Boogie had 4. Um, starters were actually minus. And the bench were like plus 18. Even though the starters did start off well. So like... First quarter plus five, second half minus 10 for the starters. But um, yeah, so Dion Waiters, he actually had eight points in the five minutes he played. He's on the only offensive threat when he's on the floor. Drexler had two, and their team didn't score. I kind of struggled offensively with Rick Smith, but obviously when he's on the floor, he killed it. And here I didn't play because we needed defense more than anything else. So anyway, yeah, this... um. So anyway, yeah, a good win right there. Jamal Wilkes had a good game. But let's be real, once I complete the remaining 15 challenges for Giannis, it will take a while. Um, I will be selling all my players back, and then I'm going to be buying the players for Andre Iguodala. 
Yeah, I got a few. I'm trying to think which ones I need for Igadala. Premium. I have a lot of him, don't I? Only four. So Draymond is not expensive. Curry or Iverson I don't need. Elton Brand is... He's cheap enough, isn't he? Yeah, 7.5k. Bogut is very cheap. Wait, what? Okay, 11k. I was like, sure he's not 60k. Steph Curry is still under 100k, isn't he? Yeah, he's a buyout. And Kenneth Fareed. Still super cheap. Andre Miller is super cheap. And Thad Young is super cheap. So, yeah, I'll be able to get all these cards comfortably enough. But I do need to complete. I would rather have Yanis before I uh, get Rick Barry. The only reason, again, that I'm looking for these cards is because I want the Brandon Roy when he comes out. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. A really nice squad. And we managed to get some snipes. Unfortunately, we couldn't type in the locker code. But you know what? When I do sell some players, I'm probably going to go and pick up a Stockton or a Will Chamberlain because this locker code has completely, completely destroyed the market. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.